What is the transgenic animal? A transgenic animal is one whose genome has been altered by the transfer of a gene or genes from another species or breed. The history of transgenic. First transgenic animal was a super mouse created by Ralph Brister and Richard Palmiter in 1982. It was created by inserting a human growth hormone gene in mouse genome. The offspring was much larger than parents. What are transgenic animals used for? Application of animal transgenesis may be divided into three major categories. First, to obtain information on gene function and regulation as well as on human disease. Second, to obtain high value products to be used for human therapy. Third, to improve animal product for human consumption. Okay, so today I would like to talk about how to make transgenic animal. Okay, there are three principal methods, which is the first one is DNA microinjection. The second one is embryonic stem cell mediated gene transfer. And the last one is retrovirus mediated gene transfer. Okay, so let's start with the first one, which is DNA microinjection. This method is a common use method in transgenic. And for your information, this is one of the first methods that proved to be effective in mammals. And it involves direct microinjection of a selected gene construct for another member, whether it is from the same species or different species into the pronucleus of fertilized ovum. The main advantage of this method is it used for various types of species. Okay, let's proceed to the second method which is embryonic stem cell mediated gene transfer. This method also called as knockout method and it involves previous insertion of the DNA sequence by homologous recombination into an in vitro culture of embryonic stem cell. What is stem cell? Stem cells are identical cells that have potential to differentiate into any cell type. Okay, this method is particular importance for the study of the genetic control of development processes. Here we go, the last method which is retrovirus mediated gene transfer. The retroviruses are basically used as vectors to transfer genetic material into the host cell to produce chimeras. Chimeras are inbred until homozygous transgenic offspring are born. And the most important advantage of the retrovirus is the ability to transform their single-stranded RNA genome into double-stranded DNA molecule that stabilize integrates into the target cell genome. Transgenic animals are the genetically modified organisms which have a foreign gene in their genome due to which they show certain properties which are different from non-genetically modified organisms. These animals have a great importance in human life as they provide benefits economically as well as medically to identify certain diseases. They are also important in agriculture. Transgenic animals have contributed a lot in the field of medicine as they are used to discover some drugs, to see the impact of some drug or vaccine and so on. Their uses in medicine are unlimited. First of all, the importance of transgenic animals are in gene therapy of human. Human gene therapy is the process in which by using the technique of gene therapy in which healthy genes are inserted in the person's body in place of defected genes. Defected genes do not function properly and cause disease in the body. Plasma and vectors are used to carry healthy genes. Transgenic animals could play a vital role in the treatment of almost 5,000 genetic disorders. For example, the scientists of Finland have developed a calf which carries a gene. This gene is responsible for making a substance which promotes the growth of red blood cells in humans. Next, in pharmaceutical, scientists have produced insulin, growth hormone, and blood protein factor in the transgenic animal. These are obtained from cow milk, 
and very useful for the human health. Similarly, milk is being obtained from goat or sheep through transgenesis to treat the disease like cystic fibrosis and phenylketonuria. Also, transgenic animal can give importance in agriculture. It is disease resistant. Scientists are doing research on making such animals which are disease resistant. Disease like influenza can cause damage to the animal body. That is why genes are inserted in pig which show resistance against this disease. Farm animals are more susceptible to influenza as they live in group and disease spread from one another to other. There are a lot of cons of transgenic animals. The transgenic experiment is exceptionally expensive due to the long gestation period, little size, and higher maintenance costs of the recipient animals. Next is related to the animal's right. Animal's rights is a foundation of those who are against transgenesis and animal testing in general. Manipulating animals for human as if the animal were nothing more than human property is inhuman. Transgenically producing animals could have a range of unexpected side effects and might as well harm the well-being of animals in unpredictable way. Thirdly, the cons of transgenic animal is the reliability of transgenic technology is questionable. The success rate of creating transgenic animal using DNA microinjection are extremely low. Even though this method is the most popular that used by researchers today, but only 0.6% of transgenic animals were born with desired gene after workers injected over 7,000 eggs with a specific transgene. That means we are introducing a lot of waste into the system where the animals may not even have chance to live. Lastly, transgenesis can result in a higher level of genetic mutation. One of the most significant risks of transgenesis technology is the risk of an insectional mutation occurring. This problem occurs when a DNA fragment goes into an essential gene of animal. It can result in numerous biological processes. Researchers also have discovered that there are times when the transgene integration process only occurs in Y chromosomes. When this issue happens, the desired traits will only transfer through the males of the species. This is some example of transgenic animals. The top one is fish, followed by pig, and the last one is livestock. Fish has two categories, and the first one is superfish. It is made by the insertion of growth hormone gene into the fertilized egg, so it results in increased growth and size. The second one is glowfish. It is produced by integrating a fluorescent protein gene from jellyfish into embryo of fish. In results, it produces six colors that are so striking and gorgeous. Next, we have Enviropig. It has phytase enzyme in the salivary gland, so it can digest plant phosphorus more efficiently. In outcome, it will excrete less phosphorus so it will not harm other creatures. Then, we have pig for organ transplant. It is inserted with human genes so it will decrease the chance of organ rejection by human body. The last one, we have livestock. They are bioreactors whose cells have been engineered to synthesize marketable proteins. They are more economical than producing desired protein in cell culture compared to fish and pig. The basic one is sheep. If we say sheep, for sure it is for good quality wool production. The following is cattle. It is made to produce protein like tofrin and interferons in their milk. Other than that, it is a prion free cow so it is resistant to mad cow disease. At the end, we have good. The transgenic goat can express tissue plasminogen activator and antithrombin 3. Goat isn't a good if you don't talk about its milk. It will produce milk containing enzyme lysozyme and spider silk fiber. Thank <laughs> you.